this final segment here I'm going to show uh, how to use the video um, scenario uh, where you can actually show a scenario and have the model run it for you. Uh, we go over to our browser here and we choose on the map tab. Um, you can see here we've got uh, selections for the nodes and links and this is uh, allows you to select what parameters are going to be shown for nodes and links. For the nodes I'm going to choose um, pressure. We're interested in what pressures are happening particularly at these homes. You can see as I did that the they came up in uh, colors there and this corresponds to a little key that popped up over here and it's automatically set some pressures there for us um, with uh, blue corresponding to under 25 psi uh, this turquoise or light blue uh, under 50 and the green 75 and below uh, 100 psi and below down to 75 is signified by yellow and above 100 uh, any any node would be showing as a red node we can see we've got a little red node here at our um, booster on the outlet of that booster as we'd expect a lot of energy being put into that water and this is at the zero hour remember our pump comes on immediately in the scenario on the links I'm going to choose flow I'm interested in the flow and again that little key shows up here it's, uh, automatically generated showing what the flow rate is it looks like all our pipes right now have a flow somewhere between 25 and 50 and that would correspond to what we expect uh, I believe our pump is pumping somewhere around about uh, 25 to 30 gallons per minute up to this tank at the beginning of the scenario um, I'm going to press the little for want of better terms uh, VCR controls here and uh, play the scenario and you can see here the scenario is ticking along uh, and it's also showing the time here in our display uh, for day one and the time and as it's going along uh, not much, much happening there we got a change in the um, pressures there the flow went down in most of the links to less than 25 gallons per minute and that would correspond to the pump switching off and just the demand from the homes causing the flow. We can speed up this um, the rate of play of this by this little slider option here. Let's increase it significantly there. And we can just let it play for a little while and, and watch what happens here. And this can also be a good tool for troubleshooting your model to see when things happen that you don't expect to see. So you, you can see several items occur uh, at once and, and several events occur at once. I'm going to stop this for a second. If we wanted to uh, adjust our color coding here, because our pressure, for instance, we wanted to have a little different uh, size. Uh, corresponding to the um, colors here we can adjust that there I got that just again to show you but it was a right click over the key there and it brings up the pop-up box and we can change these um, pressures and say I want it to go below 10 for the blue and 60 for the light blue with uh, maybe a 80 and Let's do this up to one five, which I think not, none of my um, nodes should get above one one point one five psi. And we can go again and resume playing this, and it will show the um, new new color corresponding pressures at the nodes. We do a similar thing for the flow. Right click over the key and let's change that to below 10 gallons per minute 30 and let's do this at 50 and let's just do that at 70 let's click play again we should get a few more changes here because I I, I kind of decreased the uh, the different flow rates. We can see these different colors appearing as the flows and the pressures at the node change. And a little bit of a bells and whistle feature, but it can be useful for displaying uh, 
as, as a part of a presentation or a report or for troubleshooting or for scenarios to see what is going on uh, with your system, particularly more lar larger uh, complex systems. I'm going to end this segment here.